This procedure will assist you with getting to know the ideal 61-357 digital multimeter. Review the safety information before beginning. Warning, shock hazard. Remove the test leads from the circuit prior to removing the battery cover. Failure to comply can result in serious injury or death. Inspect the battery compartment monthly for any signs of degradation. Low battery voltages will cause inaccuracies in readings. Remove the batteries for storage or if the meter will not be used for longer than one month. Battery leakage will compromise the safety of the meter and cause irreparable damage to internal components. To replace the batteries, remove the support kickstand by loosening the kickstand screw. Remove the battery cover by loosening the 4 battery cover screws. Insert 3 AAA batteries. Attach the battery cover with the 4 battery cover screws. Then attach the support kickstand with 1 kickstand screw. Test leads can be attached to the back of the meter to allow for two-hand testing by inserting them into the slots on the back of the meter. Test leads can be stored on the back of the meter by inserting them into the slots on the back of the meter. When inserting the test lead into any amperage input terminal, but the rotary function switch is not set to the correct relative amperage position, the meter will beep at 3 Hz, LCD will display lead, and flash at 3 Hz. If any amperage function is selected first, but the test lead is not in the relative amperage input jack, the meter will also beep at 3 Hz, the LCD will display lead, and flash at 3 Hz. Warning, to avoid personal injury or damage to the transmitter, use only fuses approved by IDEAL. For the 600 mA terminal, 600 mA 1000 V AC-DC fast-acting fuse, 6 by 32 mm ceramic or equivalent. The test leads cannot be short-circuited or used for measuring while testing the fuse. If the 600 milliampere slash 1000 volts fuse is blown, setting the rotary switch to the milliamps or microamps setting, the LCD will display fuse, and the buzzer will beep continuously at the same time. Warning, to avoid personal injury or damage to the transmitter, use only fuses approved by IDEAL. For the 10 amp terminal, 11 amp 1000 volts AC DC IR 30 KA fast acting fuse, 10 by 38 mm ceramic or equivalent. If the 11 A 1000 volts fuse is blown, setting the rotary switch to the amp setting will cause the LCD to display fuse and the buzzer to beep continuously at the same time. The select button allows the user to toggle between multiple functions when the function dial is used to select a specific function. This can include, but is not limited to, toggling between degrees Fahrenheit and Celsius, AC and DC voltage or current, continuity, resistance, capacitance, and diode measurements. To measure AC voltage, insert the test leads into the meter, the neutral, black, lead into the common terminal and the test, red, lead into the AC voltage terminal. Turn the measuring function's dial to the ACV function. Note. Ensure that the leads are not in the milliamps or amps ports. For more accurate results the category cap may need to be removed from the test lead. It is normal for some value of millivolts to be displayed due to radiated electrical noise. Simply short the leads together to defeat this. This does not affect the accuracy of a typical voltage reading. When measuring AC voltage, ghost or stray voltages, caused by induced voltages coupling from one parallel conductor to the next as found when measuring one conductor in multiple conductor circuits, may cause an incorrect value. Selecting the low impedance position, LOZ, on the measuring function's dial, while measuring voltage will defeat the influence of ghost or stray voltage. Caution, use caution when using the LOZ function on equipment that may be damaged by being connected to a low impedance source. To measure DC voltage, insert the test leads into the meter, the neutral, black, lead into the common terminal and the test, red, lead into the DC voltage terminal. Turn the measuring function's dial to the ACV function. Then press the select button to change the setting to DC voltage. Note, ensure that the leads are not in the milliamps or amps ports. By reversing the leads, the polarity sign will appear. To measure continuity, insert the test leads into the meter, the neutral, black, 
lead into the common terminal and the test, red, lead into the ohms terminal. Turn the measuring function's dial to the ohms function. Press the select button until the continuity symbol appears. To perform the test, short the metal tips together and listen for the tone. The meter will sense the level of resistance and beep if the resistance is less than 10 ohms, to confirm that continuity is present. Note, the meter defaults to continuity. To measure resistance, insert the test leads into the meter, the neutral, black, lead into the common terminal and the test, red, lead into the ohms terminal. Turn the measuring function's dial to the ohms function. Then press the select button to change the setting to resistance mode. To perform a capacitor test, insert the test leads into the meter, the neutral, black, lead into the common terminal and the test, red, lead into the capacitor terminal. Then press the select button to change the setting to the capacitance function. Note, it may take several seconds to acquire a stable and accurate value. To perform a diode test, insert the test leads into the meter, the neutral, black, lead into the common terminal and the test, red, lead into the diode terminal. Then press the select button to change the setting to the diode function. To measure frequency, insert the test leads into the meter, the neutral, black, lead into the common terminal and the test, red, lead into the hertz terminal. Turn the measuring function's dial to the hertz and duty cycle function. Then press the select button to change the setting to frequency mode. To measure the duty cycle, insert the test leads into the meter, the neutral, black, lead into the common terminal and the test, red, lead into the hertz terminal. Then press the select button to change the setting to the duty cycle. To measure the temperature, insert the K-type thermocouple into the meter, ensure that the negative end is plugged into the common terminal and the positive end is into the temperature terminal. Turn the measuring function's dial to the temperature function. To measure Celsius, insert the K-type thermocouple into the meter, ensure that the negative end is plugged into the common terminal and the positive end is into the temperature terminal. Then press the select button to change the setting from Fahrenheit to Celsius. Caution, meter damage. Measure current in microamps for a maximum duration of 10 minutes. Failure to comply can result in meter damage. To measure microamps, insert the test leads into the meter, the neutral, black, lead into the common terminal and the test, red, lead into the microamps terminal. Turn the measuring function's dial to the microamps function. Then press the select button to change the setting between DC and AC voltage. Caution, meter damage. Measure current in milliamps for a maximum duration of one minute. Failure to comply can result in meter damage. To measure milliamps, insert the test leads into the meter, the neutral, black, lead into the common terminal and the test, red, lead into the milliamps terminal. Turn the measuring function's dial to the milliamps function. Then press the select button to change the setting between DC and AC amperage. Caution, meter damage. Measure current in amps for a maximum duration of 10 seconds. Failure to comply can result in meter damage. To measure amps, insert the test leads into the meter, the neutral, black, lead into the common terminal and the test, red, lead into the amps terminal. Turn the measuring function's dial to the amps function. Then press the select button to change the setting between DC and AC amperage. For non-contact voltage testing, set the measuring function's dial to the NCV function. Note, while the NCV is a helpful function, it is always recommended that the operator verify that any electrical conductor is completely de-energized and that no voltage is present. This is done by using the supplied leads to measure for voltage and confirming that no voltage is present and that all applicable PPE and lockout tagout procedures are followed before attempting any work on any electrical distribution system. For a high voltage warning, high V, the meter beeps once for one second and a red LED illuminates and remains on as long as the voltage remains above 30 volts AC or DC, or when the meter's voltage range is exceeded. Note, this feature does not work in the ohm, capacitor, continuity, or amperage modes. A short press of the relative function button will activate or deactivate the relative function.
the meter is auto-ranging. However, the user may select a specific range by pressing the range button repeatedly. Depressing the range button for under 2 seconds exits the range mode. The max min button records the maximum and minimum measured value. Press the max min button to activate this feature and to toggle between max and minimum readings. The unit will continually capture max and min values over time. Depressing the max min button for under 2 seconds exits the max min mode. If the meter is turned off, all max min data will be lost. Note, when the max min function is activated, the auto power off, APO, feature will be disabled. When you exit the max min function, auto power off feature is enabled. Press the hold button to toggle in and out of the data hold mode. H appears in the bottom left of the meter display when data hold is active. Use the data hold feature to lock a measurement reading on the display. Press the hold button again to unlock the display and obtain a real-time reading. The meter automatically powers itself down after about 10 minutes of no use. Press any button and the meter will wake up and display the last reading taken before power down. To disable auto power off, ensure that the meter is turned off, then press and hold the select button while turning the dial to any desired function. When auto power off is disabled, the APO will be removed from the display. Turning the meter off and back on will restore the auto power off default. Press the backlight button on the meter to turn the backlight on and off. The white backlight will remain lit for about 5 minutes before it automatically turns off to conserve battery power. You can also turn the backlight off by pressing the backlight button again. When the battery voltage is less than 3.6 volts plus or minus 0.2 volts, the low battery indication is displayed on the screen. The meter will still work normally. When the battery voltage drops to less than 3.1 volts plus or minus 0.2 volts, BATT is displayed for 5 seconds then shuts off. When the battery voltage is less than 3.2 volts, accuracy is no longer assured. Select the option above to learn about the different testing methods for the ideal 61-357 digital multimeter. Congratulations, this completes the procedure on getting to know the ideal 61-357 digital multimeter.